welcome to my channel. Hello kids, I'm your teacher Zen. Welcome to science class. Quarter 2, Week 2, Day 3 Science Process Skills Our learning objective at the end of the lesson You will be able to Recognize patterns to make predictions Let's start kids! I know you're familiar with this jigsaw puzzle now let's play. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! Complete the puzzle. Let's start, kids. Which is the first one? Good job. Nice. Very good, kids. Yay! What does this puzzle show? How do we know it might rain? The boy predicts that it will rain because the cloud is dark and there is lightning. Very good kids! Think aloud. Predicting is a skill using observed patterns to guess or infer what will happen in the future it is important to have good observations to be able to identify patterns and make predictions what happens when you throw an apple up in the air it's no cut Episodic map of Isaac Newton's discovery of gravity. The map may highlight three steps. One, observing. Newton sees an apple fall. Two, experimenting. He chose different objects and observed the same pattern and three discovering he formulates the idea that all objects are pulled downward by a force for today's lesson you have to make careful observations just like what Isaac Newton did and recognize patterns which is an important step in making predictions. Finding unfamiliar terms The life of a farmer Routine Or in Filipino, nakagawian Regular or usual. Example, a farmer's routine is to wake up early and drink their coffee before go to work. Blow. Verb. In Filipino, it is araro or araro. Using a tool to break up and loosen the soil. This helps prepare the ground for planting seeds so the plants can grow well. Weeds 
or in Filipino, it is damo. Plants that grow in places where they are not intended often among crops or in gardens. They can compete with other plants for sunlight, water, and nutrients, which is why weeds are removed to help crops grow better. Harvest or in Filipino, it is mag-ani. Gather fruits or vegetables when they are fully grown, ready to eat or sell. Ripe or Filipino, hinog, ready to eat or mature. Crops. In Filipino, it is pananim or ani. Cultivate plants for food. Next, products. In Filipino, it is producto, items made, grown, or created that people use or sell. Now, let's do the activity three spot the pattern. Can you arrange the events? Here's the activity sheet. Materials needed, needed are a sheet of band paper, Drawing materials, example, pencil and crayons. You only have 20 minutes to do the activity. What to do? Number one, read a story about the life of a farmer. Let's read class, The Life of a Farmer. Mong Eddie is a farmer who lives in the province. Every day, he follows the same routine. Early in the morning, he takes his tool to the farm. He plow the soil, plows the soil, removes the weeds, plants seeds, and water the crops. In the, af in the afternoon, he harvests the ripe crops and prepares the products for selling. In the evening, he goes home, eats dinner with his family, and cleans his tools. Question. The story presents the daily activities of a farmer. Arrange the picture to show the correct sequence of events in a farmer's life. Choose four pictures and number them from one to four. Read one as the first activity and four as the last. Question number two. Which two illustrations are not part of the sequence? of events in the life of Monk Eddie. Why do you say so? Question number three. What happens did you observe about farming based on the story? Two. Refer again to the story. Question four. Think about what happens after harvesting in Monk Eddie's routine. What do farmers do next door sell it or replant the crops? Question five. Draw it on the band paper and describe it. Let's perform the activity number 3. Spot the pattern. Can you arrange the events? Yay! Let's go kids! The possible answers for number 1 questions to the guide questions to start present the, the daily activities or present the daily activities of a farmer. Arrange the picture to show the correct sequence of events in a farmer's life. Choose four pictures and number them from one to four. Read one as the first activity and four as the last. Here's the answer kids. This is for number one, two, three, and four. Question number two. Which two illustrations are not part of the sequence of events in the life of Monk Eddie? Why do you say so? The story only included how many Eddie takes care of the plant, not animals. 
Good job, kids! Question number three. What patterns did you observe about farming based on the story? Farming involves plowing the soil, planting the seeds, watering crops, and harvesting the crops. It involves a routine of, of activities from preparing the soil, growing the crops, harvesting, and then selling. Good job, kids! I observed that farming follows a pattern because it starts with plowing, plowing next is planting seeds then watering crops and finally harvesting very good kids <laughs> now let's proceed to this activity weather trivia what is the weather like today is it sunny, rainy, or cloudy? Do you think it will rain tomorrow? Why or why not? How do we know if it might rain soon? What signs do we look for? Did you know that weather scientists can make weather forecasts using the predicting skills? Like with the, like this picture look at that meteorologists look for patterns in the atmosphere using science equipment one of which is a satellite which takes pictures of earth's clouds formation every hour let's make a semantic log kids now, let us put together what we have learned about predicting. One way to understand how predictions are made is by orga organizing our ideas in web diagram. These are the web diagram. We're going to observe details, notice patterns, looking for clues, sequencing events, and making predictions. Can you arrange the sequence of events in activity? What goods did you use? Possible answer? I can arrange the sequence of events by careful observation of what is going on in an activity. I use patterns as clues. By doing so, I am able to think of the possible events that can happen in the activity. Very good kids! Now, are you ready for the evaluation, kids? Let's start. You're going to arrange illustration to show the sequence of events based on observed patterns. Place the numbers 1 to 5 in the boxes, with 1 representing the first activity and 5 representing the last activity in the sequence of events. Now, which do you think is the first one? Very good! Good job! Very good kids! Now, for your assignment, bring your, ba bring your baby pictures, small mirror, and drawing materials for the lesson at the next meeting. Thank you for listening, kids. See you next time.